Welcome back. It's been, I don't know, some number of weeks since we last played this game. The last time we played it was like at least 10 at night. But yeah, I think we started a single player campaign. And I don't remember anything beyond that, except this is us. But we did this scenario, but here we are anyway. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we're selecting Kai. Last time we did episode one for Kai. This time we're gonna do episode two. Your cousin's named Kai. I think I've seen some characters in various... Uh, well, I could at least think of one Dragon Ball character. But yeah, that's a powerful name. Or at least it, it sounds really cool. It's also easy to spell. Alright, so we are chasing around some creature or something, but I don't think this is it. No, this was it. Yeah, this is Popo. Or Papo. And we are in pursuit. And they are saying, po 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 And we're saying, oh no, this creature is so full of themselves, and we better focus on what's in front of me. Look out! Ah, we didn't look out. He got run over by a sleigh. Popo. Am I alright? No, nope, we're dead. End of episode. Oh! It is Hawaiian. He's not himself Hawaiian, though. I see. I can only see the color red. I must be dying. Oh, that's the color of my clothes. Popo! Ever the fountain of wisdom. What are you doing, Popo? Presents? Oh yeah, there are lots of prettily decorated boxes everywhere on the ground. No, those are all mine. They get scattered magnificently. <laughs> Don't kick back like it's none of your business. Help me pick them up. Ah, <laughs> Popo took some presents. Nice. There's no other way to resolve this than a game of dice. Let's get ready to duel! Uh, something something, it's time to battle, something something... Okay, well, we're in a campaign. And that means we gotta, like, build a deck or something. And for my own sanity, I'm just gonna pick the one, like, wait. I don't have any idea. Let's just pick the ones that have big numbers on them. So there's a two... There's a two, there's a three, there's... which one do we want? Super all-out mode, where's... go away, um, yeah, let's pick that. What's this one? Minus two defense, next battle, uh, here and there, assault, uh, okay. Yeah, that could be fun. Or maybe this one. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's give this a shot. How bad could this deck be? Ready to play the game. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, here we go! Mr. Popo. Alright, play Yar 1! Well, that's probably me. I guess I should probably move. We're gonna move five, and no matter whether we- well, ah, wait, if I go up, I'll be hitting the gold tile here. If I go across, we hit the green one. Uh, let's hit the green one. Challenge to a battle? Sure! You're going down! Ah, man. Uh, evade. Ah! Ah, oh, we take three damage. We're gonna die. Alright. Well, we're losing the game already. And it's only the first turn. Alright, I missed what Flip Out does, but it probably does something. Yeah, here we go. Alright. 
Ha da da! All right, let's move again. Yeah, we got a card that either heals or deals one HP. I see heals with an H. Bonuson, yeah. Woo! We are totally maybe winning this, but probably losing it. Uh, we got three hit points. I don't know that it's worth recovering any of them. One, two, three, four, uh, six would land us on this other person. Let's fight! Yeah, you're going down! Maybe. Kaboom! Your star chips are mine. All right. Element of surprise never hurts. Get ready to do 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 duel. Get ready to combat. All right. Uh, left or right? Oh, interesting. Well, purple is a warp. Oh, blue is a penalty square. But they're cool-looking squares, but okay. Yeah, maybe next time I should avoid the blue squares. If they just deal damage. Okay. Well, I'm smart. But hey, it was a shortcut, so... Wait. Times two. Double card draw! Woo! Okay, we have to discard something. Oh. During this battle, the positive and negative attributes of each ability of both units are... inverted after whatever. Um... Uh, I don't know, man. During this battle, positive and attribute... Yeah, let's discard the cookie, because I was too dumb. Didn't realize there was a hand limit. Kaboom! Die, chicken, die. Trap card set. I'll show you my trap card. Alright. Drapu! Hey, wait, I didn't get any of that drop. Alright, we're gonna play... The Bad Pudding card. So whoever... Oh, yeah, let's fight! You're going down! Oh, that wasn't bad. Five. Alright, we'll bird defend. Oh, we die! We are super dead. Well, we got, like, what, seven stars? And everybody else has got a zillion stars, so we are not gonna win this. All right, we need five or higher to revive. Nope, we're dead. We are super dead. I can't even use the, like, recover all HP card. <laughs> oh, we are so losing this round. So you can see everybody's, like, star level. Um, next to their avatar. So two players have two stars. I have one star, and uh, player Aru is one star. So, yeah. Four or higher to revive. Woo! We can move again. Oh, man. Damn. I could have beaten that thing. Oh, look at that teleport. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's move again. Let's fight! Yes! You got 7 HP, I got 5. You're going down. Yeah, woo! Alright, let's try evade this time. <laughs> oh, we take 4 damage, because we failed to evade. Alright. You're going down, chicken. 
Yeah, I got a chicken. Oh, looks like somebody's got one HP. See if they had to evade, or otherwise they take at least one damage. Oh, that was weird. Oh, they tried to evade and they failed. I think you need like four or higher to evade. Alright, maybe since I'm at one HP, I want to... Can I not eat the pudding? Alright. I want my pudding. Do I have to, like, fight somebody to be able to eat pudding? Is that how this works? Dangerous pudding! Oh, man. That's a lot of stars. Alright, can I eat the... When do I get to eat the pudding? Do I never get to eat the pudding? Wait, okay, but I still can't use the card. Uh-oh. We have to evade. We evade the chicken's mighty attack. And leave behind a chicken which has one HP. Alright, we're gonna keep moving. Oh, we have to drop a card. Or a star or something. Defeat two or more enemies, and then they pick their next objective. Their objective could either be to get some number of enemies defeated, or it can be to, um... Uh... To get some number of stars. Like this. Alright, now can I use my stuff? Nope. Still can't use my card. Sure, let's stop at home. Oh, hey look! We actually got 10 stars. To beat two or more enemies is going to be my next objective. Because we've already fulfilled that. Alright, we are now at level 2. So if we could just, like, teleport back home, that would be cool. Draw two cards. Hacks! Hacks, I tell you. Oh, player got KO'd by a monster. Alright, I still can't use the heal all my hit points thing. Uh, so if I go around, I hit the blue square, which is bad. Uh, either way I go here. Yeah, let's go the short route. Because all we're trying to do is get back home again. So we can level up once more. Alright, we'll just continue rolling. Um... Alright, let's get double uh, star bonus. Nice. 11 is nice. Because, like, each star level is about... requires you to get an extra 20 stars or so. So collecting 11 at once is a pretty nice payout. Um... No, we're just going to keep taking the short path around the board. Guess I'm going to just try to collect as many stars as I can. And completely forget about the monsters and everything else. I suppose other players would chase after me if they could. Oh, we got a card. Roll two dice? 
Roll two dice is like super powerful if I can get home over and over. I don't know if we can get home over and over. Yeah, we got the golden mushroom. That's basically... Wait. I don't know what miss there meant. I guess... Bad pudding. Yeah, you're forced to discard a card. Because I gave you bad pudding. Alright. Let's dash. This is actually terrifically stupid. Um, because it's like the one turn you don't want to dash. Because I want to stop at home. <laughs> Silly me. Alright. Well, I'm being stupid, but that's okay. We got the golden mushroom, and I forgot this game makes you stop at home. To trigger the home effect. So I can't level up unless I stop at home. So I'm just going to go around the board again and again. Again, I can't select these cards. For some reason. Um, Alright, well we get a bonus if we go this way, but we have a blank square if we go that way. So, we'll take the bonus. Six stars. That's going to help us level up a little later. Trap card. Hey, you can't just go setting trap cards. That's my move. What's this with a trap card? You can't do that. Wait, since when could you score things at my home? That's my home. Not Unless we're like on the same team or something. Alright. Hey, more bonus. Double bonus. But yeah, I could use one of those teleport things to send me somewhere useful. <laughs> Instead of sending you backwards. Let's go, go, go! Uh, so, crap. Either we have to fight a monster, or we have to drop... Well, the cards have not been so useful. I wanted to use them, but... No, we're going the shortcut route. Uh, so I lost some number of stars. Ubiquitous? Move some player? Oh, move to some player. Why'd you move to me? But yeah, if I could hit a purple tile, there's a good chance that would land me closer to home than anything else. So, let's go! Purple! That ain't purple. Uh, let's not fight for right now. Even though we're gonna die any second now. Oh, actually they don't want to fight? That works for me. I'll just keep going around the board. And maybe this time if I get a golden mushroom, maybe I don't burn it at the wrong instant. Um, a challenge about sure you're going down all right so oh reverse attribute field i mean we could do that sure why not Woo! wait i just reduced my attack that was the worst possible thing i could have done but maybe it was something the opponent did. But it's probably me being dumb. Alright, I need to evade now. Because if I take a hit, I'm down. Yeah, we evade. Woo! That was the worst battle ever. I should not have played that card. So reverse doesn't mean switch attack and defense. It means negate all statistics. So, yeah. That was pretty dumb. 
and stupid and dumb. Nice. The monster KO'd the player. Reminiscent something or other. I didn't see what that did, but... That eh, couldn't have been that important, right? Chapter 24. Alright, what cards we got this time? During the battle, gain plus two defense. Alright, whatever. Let's move, move, move! Oh! Well, okay, we could hit a warp tile or a gray tile. Let's hit the teleport. Um, no thanks. Hey! Oh, we even land on a trap card and it doesn't take effect. But this lands us no closer than if we had just taken the shortcut. In fact, yeah. Even this teleport forward sent us on a longer route. But at least we didn't have to encounter our gray square, which has no effect. Alright, double card draw. Alright, so I've been trying to eat this pudding thing, and it's just not doing anything at all. Uh, gain stars equal five times the number of chapters... Oh my gosh. My gosh. Well, we're gonna drop the pudding. Because apparently I can't eat it. Maybe I'm, like, pudding intolerant or something. I don't know. Whoa, okay, that had some effect, maybe. Said something research on it. In general, this gameplay is abysmally slow, but... Sometimes the, the game will play cards, and it's just too hard to keep track of what's going on. Um... Yeah, we're going to, well... Yeah, let's put the piggy bank here. I don't want to fight any monsters, so we're gonna just take some bonus stars. <laughs> Teleport to my space? Alright, flip out. Next time you end up on a drop panel, well, something happened. Alright, they got the gold mushroom. So, um, yeah, we can lay our other trap card now. Right next to the other card, just for fun. Uh, let's not fight. Yeah, let's stop at home, though. 70 or more stars. Alright, the next level, 120 or more stars to win the game. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that player must have, like, monster fights or something as part of its objective. A boss appeared? Excuse me? Since when are there bosses in this game? Oh, a teleporter. Let's do it. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, way to step over both of my landmines, by the way. So yeah, we just need one more level to win the game, but player 4 has the same number of stars as we have. Card to draw! Mixed phenomena, whatever that said. Um, all panels other than home panels become random panels. Oh, that sounds fun. And useless, but fun. I guess random panels have unknown effects, which may or may not be desirable. 
since, like, I have the right number of stars to win the game. I don't want to upset anything. Wait, what was this? All players draw until they have a full hand. Those with the full hand draw one instead. Gain stars equal to ten times the number of all cards drawn. Jeez. Alright, so... When you're allowed to attack first, the opposing unit cannot attack once per combat. Alright, we're gonna randomize everything over oh, three turns. Wow. Alright, that's gonna be exciting. Alright, start a random card. Alright, well... Yeah, this is too fun. Ooh, are they gonna fight? Oh, somebody takes three damage. Card effect stacked. Battle a player who set the card. So we considered taking that same card for ourselves, but... Elected not. Alright, so... Oh, well, we're not... Well, I don't know if we're fighting anything, but... Um... Sure. When we attack first, we don't have to worry about the other party counter-attacking. Oh, that's right! I can always land at any one of the homes, not just my own. And if I land at any home, uh, I can trigger the next level effect. I forgot about that. So while you have the privilege to land at home, you can land at any home to level up. Next norm. Well, we're going stars. Even though this is going to be, like, super hard. Defeating nine enemies does not seem viable. Not given my puny character. So... Yeah. We got a lot of a lot of stars to make up. We got 72 stars to go, so... Um, but yeah, we're just going to stick to it. Oh, alright. I triggered my own trap card, but got some stars. Huh. There's a trap card to deal one damage? Well, that's mean. Alright, player three finally reaches level three. Hmm. Yeah, you're able to eat a cookie, whereas my character just couldn't figure out how to eat a cookie. Uh, do I want to stop at home? Well, we're already fully healed, so there's no point in stopping at home. Do I want to battle? No, because we would lose. But, we are going to take the stars from landing on that tile. So we got 37 stars to go until the next norm. Wow, these players just aren't fighting each other. As if they want me to lose and they're cooperating so that they don't have to fight me. Double bonus. Nice. 199 stars. So if I just get... Well, the next chapter will automatically give me stars. So I just need to land at any home to win the game. Uh, but also not lose my stars in the interim. Alright, let's go! Oh, well, we got a drop. Well, we lost, like, some stars, so you gotta regain them. Ha ha ha! Oh. That didn't work the way I thought. 
What the hell kind of a trap card gives stuff to an opposing player? Apparently that kind of a trap card gave them like a hundred stars or something. That's cool. Alright, well all we need to do is get back up to 200 and land at home. So... Just try not to fuck things up before then. Yeah, this would be a good opportunity for me to roll high. Player 4. Uh-oh. Fuck. I lose the game. Player 4 got 200 stars first. Well, we tried. 37 chapters later, we're not the winner. But, we are in second place. There's me. Alright. Breakdown of the gain stars. Yeah, we didn't fight anyone, really. We were pretty much a pacifist this game. Alright, well, that's scenario two. We're gonna try it again, and maybe not fail so hard this time. Because we would like to advance the narrative, wouldn't we? It's such an engaging narrative. So, we gotta see if we can win this thing. And maybe this time I'll pick a deck that makes any sense at all. Instead of just picking cards that have a high mode. Maybe we pick cards that have a theme. Or that just are rarer cards that don't duplicate so often. So, yeah, dash is awesome. What's this stuff? Here and there, all players move to randomly chosen panels. Um, I don't want to battle. You remove to a randomly chosen panel. Wait, that's a trap card. Never mind, we don't want the trap. Um, during the battle, gain plus two defense. But you cannot evade. That's so weird. So last time we couldn't eat the cookie. I guess because we're allergic to cookies or something. Um... Yeah, that looks fun enough. Um, so... Alright, we already drew that. Um, yeah, during this battle, gain attack and lose defense. Gain defense, you never know if we'll need it. And we have that hammer or whatever. Let's do it! Looks like the deck doesn't totally suck, but just mostly sucks. And this time, we'll just go around collecting stars and ignore everything else. Wait, what's this card? What? Dangerous pudding, your next turn will be skipped. Yeah, that looks safe. Alright. Um... Yeah, let's go collect these. Bonus! Woo! We got three whole stars. Alright, let's go. Uh, we'll take more stars. Alright, they get to pick a player to move to. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, that's an efficient way to start a fight. Yeah, so we're just going to try to land on all the bonus squares and ignore everything else that's going on. I mean, it could be nice to draw cards, I guess. 
Uh, do we fight this person? Maybe. Sure, why not? We got plus one attack. Ah, bummer. Alright, we're gonna try to evade so we don't take any damage, but oh, we take one damage. So protagonist's privilege means we don't get fought back. We get to initiate a fight and don't have to deal with the consequences. So we're gonna take out that player that just gave us one damage. Because we're spiteful like that. Oh, never mind. Uh, well. Yeah, we're gonna battle you. Woo! There we go. Yes, yeah, so if it was a choice between... Well, there was a choice between battle or just straight up um, drop a card. So battle is probably better. Yeah, bonus. Double bonus. Ten stars. Okay, I missed what that jungle thing does. But hopefully it's nothing major to worry about. Man, that's supposed to put up a fight, you know? Each time you fight something on the same tile, I think it's supposed to get slightly harder. Or have a slightly tougher defense. Oh. Wow. The piggy bank... Yeah, it pays off for me. It's three stars. Alright. Here we go. We got the same card twice. Uh, there's no harm in collecting cards. Oh, so either way we draw a bonus. So let's draw it. We're on our way back home. Unfortunately, back home I'd land at a, I set a trap there. So maybe I'm gonna land on my own trap. Also, I forget what trap I set, so... Yeah, setting a trap at your own home might not be so smart. Alright, let's move. Uh, yeah. Um, alright, make their next objective get 30 stars, because we've done that. Yeah, dangerous pudding causes us to lose a turn. It'd be nice, though, if, like, as we're losing the turn, we get to visit home a second time. That'd be cool. I don't suppose they coded it that way. Nope, no double home bonus for me. Oh, jeez. Looks like Popo's collect- oh my goodness. Everybody's leveling up so quickly this time. We couldn't make the AI, like, easy? That would've been so nice. Six. Alright, so we have a choice between the double bonus square one, two, three, four, or we could land at a home square. So we're gonna land at the home. We've completed this objective. Next, I guess, 70 or more stars. Seems easier than five plus enemies. Just because, like, this map seems to give us lots and lots of stars.
It is interesting, though, to, like, hit the next level. Um... There doesn't seem to be any correlation... Um... Between the bonus you select and the difficulty of the next level. So... By that I mean, um... You can collect stars, and it doesn't take away any of your stars. Um. Wait, so, okay. Player 2 has 3 hit points. Maybe I want to fight this player. Alright, let's use one of these. Meaning, we don't get attacked back if we start an attack. Yeah, let's fight! Kaboom! All your stars are mine. We still have to drop something, but, you know, let's... Oh. We drop stars? Aww. Would've been nice to, like, drop a card or something instead. But, yeah. All the bonus, or the advantage we gained from downing this player seems to have been lost. Um. Uh, well, let's go fight a monster. Bataloo! Oh my goodness. That's one feisty chicken. And I rolled high against it, and it rolled high too. The odds of having me roll high and it roll low in combination are not very great. Uh, I miss whether or not... And I think this is turn three of that effect. Um, yeah, let's fight! You're going down! Kaboom! Alright, don't hit me. Yep, I'm a protagonist, you don't get to fight back. And then next turn we could use our other protagonist privilege card to ensure that, again, they don't get to attack us. Alright. Yeah. We're invincible as long as we start the attack. Yeah, let's fight! Man, only two damage. Ooh, wow. Those are some cool cards. Oh, wow. Player two downed player four. Alright, so what cards do we have? Heal a hit point or deal a damage. Let's put this crap card down. Do we fight this person? Yeah, of course. You're going down! Oh. Alright, you get plus two attack, but I go first. And I have protagonist privilege, so you don't get to fight back. Pardon me. Oh. Wow, player three's running away. Coward. I mean, it's hard to blame them, because I'm kicking their butt so badly, but still. Yep. Um... Bad pudding. So this bad pudding forces the player to discard a random card. <laughs> Wait. That, oh, I see. They get to heal one hit point if they stop at home. But otherwise, that's kind of a dubious decision. Because now I'm going to fight you! We're going to fight! Kaboom! Yes! 
Alright. Um, gain two defense, but I cannot use evade. Uh, we can save that for next time. Ah, you and your plus two. Damn. Um, let's defend. We take one damage if we defend. We might have taken three if we'd evaded and the evade failed. One hit point's not so bad. Running away, and at a time where, so I am quickly approaching my home square, the one with the one on it. This is my square. Um, and if I land there, oh, I've already recovered my hit point because I was at somebody else's home square, I guess. Um. But yeah, we just want to collect as but oh, that's not a lot of stars. That is so few stars. I'm coming after you very slowly. Very, very slowly. Alright. There we go. Yes, we stop at home. Wait, we failed the objective? What was the objective? 70? I guess the objective was 70. Well, that was a waste. It pays to know what the objective is. Yeah, I think it's 70, then 120, and then 200. So I messed up. Should not have stopped at home. <laughs> Monster KO is the player. Alright, we still don't have 70. Uh, we lose 10 stars. And at that, we're probably losing the game, because we're so far behind. Like, there's no way I can recover and get enough stars. I mean, I could start landing on the red tiles and maybe do something, if I'm lucky. But this requires good combat skills, which I lack. But yeah, we're all at level 3, except player 4. Alright, dash. Yeah, that, we need a dash. We need dash. So, the next thing is, I want to land at one of these home tiles if I get 70 stars. Which I should automatically get once the turn increases like this. So now we have 70 stars, so... I don't want to dash right now. Um... Yes, there we go. 70 plus stars. We are not defeating nine enemies, so we're gonna go for 120 stars. Ah! We cannot win this game. It's a four-player game. And we do not have anywhere near 120 stars. Okay. Don't know what Holy Knight did in terms of star granting. Yeah, go knock that player out. Cause it's like they're gonna win. Miracle! Oh hey, that's kinda nice. go! We got a five. Alright, we're gonna teleport anyway. 
Uh, well, is the teleport good? Most of the time, yes. There we go. Wait, so if I could fight player two and knock them out, I get like a ridiculous number of stars. Wait, they looted me? I have 38 stars now. Oh my goodness. Alright, well... Um, this is curious. Yeah, we're gonna go try to fight this person. Yeah, we're gonna fight. I'm gonna beat you up. Um, we're gonna have to drop a card after this, so I might as well use this right now. Because I might have had to drop it otherwise. Damn it. Alright, gotta defend. Gotta drop our other card, or stars, whatever. So we need to get like a hundred stars or six monsters to make up. Oh my god. If only there were a way they could both KO each other. That would be ideal. Yeah, I want to fight Popo. I don't want to fight Popo. Because they took all my stars. Yes. Wait, player three? That's not who I wanted to fight. Do I not get to choose my battle target? Okay, we'll battle this person. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. There we go. All my, your stars belong to me. As it should be. Alright, player 3 has 82 stars. stop at home this turn. Uh, yeah, we want to stop at home. Now if we get 200 or more stars and land on any of the objective tiles, the game is ours. So player three better run like there's no tomorrow, because we're going to fight them if we can. So, um, I mean, there's no harm in triggering this a little bit early. Please, big number. That's not a big number. Oh my god. Hey, I was a player. Well, I didn't see... Is my player KO'd? With five hit points? Doesn't look like I'm KO'd, but I must be, right? Yeah, they didn't get a chance to fight me. Alright, well, I don't know exactly what happened. Players are moved to randomly chosen panels. No, thank you! Now, this player, 3 out of 5 hit points, 107 stars. I think it's time to fight. Yeah. Tactical retreat. All your stars are mine! Which is really the goal anyway. I wonder how many tactical retreat cards they have. Because at some point, giving away like 40 stars to retreat doesn't seem too tactical. <laughs> Except if you have exactly enough. Alright, I'm still gonna fight you. Yes. 
So we fight them both because we, we think we might win, but also because um, we want to land on this square to try to win the game. Ah, humbug. player three sets of trap card. Well, nobody's going that way, though. Kaboom! Oh, thank goodness. So now I only have... Actually, nobody has more stars than I do. Alright, so now... Well, we've got 181 stars. If I were to randomly shuffle where players are, I don't know if that's to my benefit or not. It might be. Uh, I'm too curious. Let's do it. Yeah. So nothing happens because I landed on a gray tile. Knock him out! Knock him out! Oh, that's not a KO. <laughs> Heal all for three hit points. Oh. Alright. We've got 21 stars to go. Now if we go this way, we're going to hit home too quickly and not be able to complete the game. So we're actually going to go fight. Even though our chances of winning this fight are not good. Please survive. We have to... well... I say we have to evade. Either way, we need 4 plus to get through this. Uh, so... Yeah, let's evade and hope for a high roll. Oh! Apparently evade doesn't work how I thought it worked. So I just completely threw the game. Cool. Unless, of course, somehow... Yeah, this is just not gonna work. I am super dead. I thought four or higher would succeed on evade. But I guess the difference in players' evasion stat is what factors in. Not just your evasion, but the difference in evasion stat. Either way, like, I need 93 more stars to win this. And unless a nice, easy target shows up right in front of me, saying, take all my stars, well... Seems that that might be happening here. We might have our nice easy target in front of us after all. Okay, yeah, we're fighting. I can't beat you, but I can try. Uh, they, yeah, we're gonna try to dodge. Yep. And we're going to fight them again, if we can. So I just need a 4. I need another high roll. Otherwise, I have thrown the game. Ah, that's not a 4. Alright. I have to pursue that player. So... Yeah, actually we're all... Except for player two, we're all in decent position. Player two is, like, far and away winning it. Nope. Yep, we're gonna fight! I have to beat you. 
okay, they took their minus one defense to plus one. But it's not enough for me to crush them. Uh, we have to defend. Because if we were to take five damage, that would hurt too much. Alright, well, we just have to knock out player two. As we keep saying. What are the odds? There we go. Five hit points for us. High roll? That's not a high roll. That's not a high... Well, it's an okay bonus. But yeah, as if player two stops at any of these targets, uh, they just win the game immediately. So I need to stop player two. I need to encounter them before player two can win the game. But there's not a whole lot I can do. Alright, we are dead. Player two. Well, at least they didn't roll a two. Come on. Come on, monster, you can do it. Knock him out. Uh, it's not a KO. Alright, at least player two's gotta go like halfway around the board now to hit one of these objective places. Uh, well, I don't feel like landing on a trap card today. Kaboom! Take one damage. Oh wow, those are high dice rolls. Didn't even know we had seven-sided dice. Alright, we're gonna lay our trap card, even though it's really the worst trap ever. Um, yeah, we'll just, let's draw another card. Draw two cards. Coward! Come back here and fight me, coward. Alright, so... Player 2 is just gonna go hide in the corner for a bit. Um... Okay, I'm gonna use my card that lets me draw cards. Alright, and then we can't do any more card things right now, so... Just move! Ah, uh, no battle. How come they get to choose no battle? What if I want to fight them? All right, it, it reverses. Oh, oh wow, that's a really powerful card. Also, player four has an insane number of stars. Yeah, all the CPUs have enough stars to win the game. Um, okay, we're going to use this research card to try to steal from the deck. Uh, we got something from the deck. Uh, wait, what? Well, I don't feel... oh goodness. Yeah, let's warp. Ah, uh, that was the one place I did not want to warp. Alright, well, we're losing. We are almost certainly completely lost. So protagonist privilege allows us to fight but not take damage. So... 
Player 2 recovers all hit points. Well, that sucks. So every other player is completely able to win the game on star count. Player 4 hasn't achieved level 5 yet. But yeah, if I could fight player 2 or player 3, I could maybe prolong the game slightly. All right, we're gonna have to land. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Ideally, they both knock each other out, if that were even possible. Do this. Keep trying to chase player two. You know it's not gonna matter. Yeah, I'm curious when the drop effect takes effect. It doesn't seem to affect the actual star count. Uh. Alright, see you now. Every player is in position. Um. Jeez. Let's choose this player. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. So we get cards that look like their cards. Um... Admittedly, we don't win the game from this, but we get to pursue player two a little bit close... Oh, gosh. Wait, why would you do that? Oh, because you get to loot me when you do that. That is super annoying that you've taken like 200 stars from me in this game that way. Nice. Oh, well you win the game. Alright, well done. A winner is you. This game's unwinnable. There's no way to win this game. Yeah, other than just getting lucky. Or not doing terrifically, tremendously stupid things like I did. But it's not easy. So this is why there's DLC and stuff you can purchase with in-game currency and out-of-game currency and you know. Yep. So Kai campaign number two looks like a bust. We did last time clear through Kai campaign number one without having any idea what we're doing. Alas, no such luck today. So, yep, the game is 100% orange juice. The build number is 3.8. Whatever this number is. Yeah. Um, hope we enjoyed this. And either way, we'll see you next time.